<laughs> Hi. Hi, I'm Meg. Welcome to Plant Fit Meg. If you're new to the channel, I hope you'll take a look around at some other videos. I make videos about healthy weight loss, simple plant-based recipes, and living a healthy lifestyle. And if you're not new to the channel, welcome back. Glad to have you here. Thanks for clicking on today's video. Today I'm going to share what I eat in a day. So you guys seem to really enjoy these videos. So I'm going to keep making them if you guys keep watching them. I have a few different meals, obviously, to share with you today. I had sort of a, an unconventional breakfast. I had leftovers, so that'll be fun to show you guys. I also had a bit of a weird mishmash meal for lunch of just a bunch of really simple uh, ingredients thrown together to make something really simple but really delicious. And for dinner, I'm sharing my potato chip recipe, which is a baked potato chip, no oil, roasted Brussels sprouts, carrots, and our pizza hummus. Very, very exciting. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's get into it. I went for a run this morning, and I'm drinking some water. Uh, Riordan is doing online learning, so it's a little later in the morning than I would usually eat. And I decided to have something a little unconventional for breakfast. I usually do like to have oats or smoothies or something sweet, something like that. But this morning I was just feeling something a little different, something a bit more savory, so I decided to have some leftovers. I'm having some broccoli, some black rice, and our peanut tamari tempeh which is amazing. I'll link the video below and the recipe as well. I'm just going to add a little bit of sriracha over the top here. There we go, all ready to eat. I decided that I wanted something a little different as I showed you already. So this is my lovely plate here. I'm really excited to dig into this. I know it's gonna be amazing, but I'll do a little taste test here for you guys anyway. So digging into my black rice. Mm. So simple, but so delicious, so flavorful. really yummy. This is really hitting the spot this morning. As I mentioned, I do typically like to eat more sweet breakfast, but this just was calling to me this morning, some leftovers. So don't restrict yourself to only eating sweet things in the morning. Eat what you want to eat. And if you feel like having leftovers or something a bit more savory with veggies, go for it and enjoy it. I did mention this in my weight loss tips video, so I'll link that up here so you can take a look if you're interested and if you haven't seen it yet. So I'll be back in a little while when I have a snack or when it is lunchtime. See you in a bit. All right, it's lunchtime. So I have warmed up some fries in the microwave and some mixed vegetables. I've also drained and rinsed a can of chickpeas. So I have some chickpeas here and I had some leftover gravy. I'll leave the recipe linked below. We make it in our shepherd's pie video as well, so I'll link that below as well, as well as the printable recipe, but it looks like that. And it's Doesn't look too exciting, but that's what it looks like. That's really yummy. It's very yummy. Super simple to make. So I'm just having this really simple kind of mishmash throw together meal right now. <laughs> so I'm just going to add the vegetables right on top of my Ooh. fries here. I think mom's kind of making a nice good meal. <laughs> so I'm just putting it on top. You could of course put everything separately on your plate if that's what you prefer if you're trying this out, but I'm just dumping everything yeah. on top. Mama just likes big piles of food. I do like big <laughs> piles of food. So there's my 
big pile of uh, fries and veggies. And we're going to and add some chickpeas. Yeah, we're going to add some chickpeas on top. Ah! Oopsie, I lost one. That's okay. That's okay. I'll pick it up. And then I'm just going to add some gravy on top. Ooh. All right, so it might not be the most beautiful meal, but it's going to be delicious. I'm very excited for it. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of salt-free seasoning to me over looks, the top. To me, it looks... Oops. It was a little more than I wanted. That's okay. To me, it looks really, really colorful and yummy. Yeah, so I'm going to dig looks. into this for lunch. All right, so it is lunchtime. I'm on my second giant glass of water here, and I have this weird mishmash meal that I threw together of random randomness. And sometimes that's just the way it goes. And whether you're eating a plant-based diet or not, Sometimes just throwing things together can be really fun and really delicious and just surprisingly tasty. And believe it or not, I have done this before and made this exact weird meal, weird concoction before, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm having it again and I'm going to have a little taste test here just to show you guys. Mmm. Get some chickpeas and other veggies going here. And there's also a little bit of peas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's super yummy. Somehow it's really comforting and really delicious. It might seem super strange to you and I get that, but yeah, I'm gonna enjoy it. Did you wanna try a little bit, Rye? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. I want to try some of the chickpeas. Mm. Yeah, do you think it's yummy? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go enjoy this and I will be back when it is snack time or dinner time when I eat again. So I'll see you in a bit. I'm on my third cup of water here and I also have a cup of coffee with a splash of soy milk in it. So I'm going to enjoy these while Ryden and I play outside and hang out. All right, so I'm roasting up these Brussels sprouts here. I'm making our Italian style Brussels sprouts with Italian seasoning, garlic powder, and some nutritional yeast. I added extra nutritional yeast this time, and I'm sure they will be delicious. So Chris just chopped up these potatoes for our baked potato chips. And so we're going to throw them in the oven after the Brussels sprouts are done, and we're gonna have a yummy dinner. All right, I'm putting together our pizza hummus. I'm using our homemade hummus recipe. I'll leave that linked below if you wanna check it out. I'll leave the printable recipe. And also we make our hummus in our potato party video. So I'll link that below as well in case you wanna take a look. I'm doubling the pizza hummus recipe. So I'm using half a cup of hummus. two tablespoons of tomato paste, four tablespoons of water. I've transferred that over into a larger container so it'll be easier for me to mix. One teaspoon of Italian seasoning. And that's all there is to it. Super simple, just give it a mix. There we have it, our yummy pizza hummus ready to go. I always recommend taste testing and then adjusting the spice level or adding more tomato paste if you want a more tomatoey flavor and just adjusting to your own taste preference. You could add parsley to this, pepper, other spices of your choosing. We like to keep it nice and simple, um, but you can jazz it up however you like. All right, it's dinner time. This is my plate. Uh, this is plate one of two, maybe three, we'll see how it goes. But this is what I'm getting started with, is our pizza hummus. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. 
Mmm. Really, really yummy. We haven't made pizza hummus in a while. We talked about it in our previous video when we were making pizza and it just reminded us how much we really enjoy it and really love it. So we made it for tonight and we're gonna go ahead and finish up our dinner and enjoy. And I, I'm still I'm still eating my food still. Yeah, we're all still, <laughs> we're just getting started with dinner, right? Yeah. Yeah, so Chris and Riordan are enjoying uh, the same meal with me and it's delicious. So I'll be back in a little while for dessert. All right, I'm back. It's shortly after dinner time and we are digging into some dessert tonight. We made cake on the weekend because it was Mother's Day and we have some chocolate cake here. This is a modified recipe from my chocolate zucchini cupcakes. So I'll leave that recipe linked below and um, I'll leave some details about what we modified to make it work for a cake. Uh, switched up a few things, turned out quite nicely. And yeah, I'll leave those details in the blog post uh, linked below. So check that out if you're interested. Do a little taste test on camera here. I know it's yummy because I ate some yesterday. Mmm. <laughs> It's really good to me. Mm -hmm. I can even show my plate. <laughs> it's very, very good. Very yummy. The icing makes it quite sweet. Look, <laughs> I have a bunch. You're part way through. <laughs> I also have an Earl Grey tea here with a little bit of almond milk in it. It's too hot for me to dig into right away, so I'm just gonna let it cool a bit before I sip on that. Um, I'm not sure if I'll eat anything else tonight. We'll drink some more water, that's for sure. And if I do eat anything else, I'll be back. I might have a little fruit later or another cup of tea. We shall see. So if I'm hungry, I'll eat again. If not, that'll be it for me for tonight. If you liked this video, give it the thumbs up. Subscribe below if you haven't already. And I hope you're having an awesome day. I'll talk to you soon. Oh. <laughs> Big and thumbs up. Okay. And thumbs up for the video. And thumbs up for the video. I hope you're having an amazing day, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. And bye.